And welcome to another episode <laughs> of Guitar of the Day. Of Guitar of the Day. Woo woo! Is it, is it Flat Top Friday? Yeah. Long, shaggy hair for Friday? Yeah. Um, here we are. My name is Todd Weisenbaker, and this might be my last Flat Top Friday. Sad day. Aww. As we, you probably, we've already talked about it. We're doing this in the future. Um, I will be leaving, and I'm really sad to say goodbye to, to all of you and my Norman's rare guitar family. Um, but, you know, sometimes you gotta do what's best for your family. So... We without, will miss you. I mean, yeah, well, you're gonna be so far. It's not like we could visit. Tears all around. Um, but we are here to do a job, and that job is to showcase a very beautiful guitar. Are you ready, Jen? Yes. This is a very special guitar. Um, we got a few guitars from a kind of a bluegrass legend named Dan Creary. And this is one that he owned that was given, he played Taylors um, starting in the early 2000s, maybe late 90s as well. And so this is one of those guitars and it's from 2002. And I'm gonna have to read some notes off my phone because it's kind of has a really interesting story. Um, it is called the Liberty Tree. Mm, okay, okay, so it's okay. the two thousand. So you can just we'll just do like some um, antiques roadshow style. Mm -hmm, you can okay. use some, some up close photos, and I'll point and read you what's going on. Okay. So in two thousand two, they made four hundred of these. Maybe a little more because this is four hundred four. <laughs> At any rate, um, so each each of the thirteen colonies had a liberty tree, different species under which the colonists gathered to plan their rebellion against the British. Many of these trees were destroyed as the British occupied very various cities during the Revolutionary War. This one was in Annapolis, Maryland, and was taken down in 1999 due to the damage from Hurricane Floyd. So they chopped down the tree in uh, in 99. It was, the, it was believed to be 400 years old. Taylor bought the tree and used it to make 400 grand concert, 400 grand concert, that's what this one would be, and 400 baby, and 50 T4 guitars. Okay, back and sides are, it's a tulip poplar, hand-picked Sitka spruce top with an antique stain. Look at the back, look at this. Wow, woo! Okay, so it has pre and post Revolutionary War flag inlays, boom. And boom. Uh, laser cut decorate decoration of uh, it says decoration. Laser cut declaration of independence scroll. That's really cool. And it's on the neck and the top. Uh, Thirteen stars for the original colonies. Ebony bridge, ebony pins, pearl dots, abalone trim. So that would be right here. Um, gold grovers. And then there's this, this is a ownership from Dan Creary. Um, and it has all the original hang tags and whatnot. Pretty cool. It's a really cool guitar. So the back is just... The, it's beautiful. Tulip pop. Even the sides is just it's Kind crazy. of a greeny kind of color. Um, so... It looks amazing. Taylors are known for their playability. This one is no exception. Nice slow action. I will say that the strings are lighter than we usually put on guitars. Um, so just take, take that information, do what you want with it.
feel? Feels great. Plays, um, I at home have a very similar tailor that I've been playing um, for about the last month a lot. And so I can get around on these very easily. And I do a lot of... kind of finger picky stuff and you know it doesn't work on all acoustics so you need it kind of something that plays closer to an electric um, let's see what can I do um... Liberty Tree Taylor. So cool. Gorgeous. <laughs> Love it. Uh, you can find this guitar on normansreguitars.com, Reverb, Instagram, Facebook. My hands. <laughs> let's, try that. let's try that one again. Say it, Jen. Bye. <laughs> I can't do it.